Good morning, everybody. It is September the 6th. I am standing out here on this beautiful morning with my buddy Andrew, and we are outside the Timberline Lodge getting ready to go in and get some breakfast. It is just shy of 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're about to start the Timberline Trail. Woo! <laughs> Fun little fact, everybody. Exterior views of the Timberline Lodge were actually used in the movie The Shining. Whoa. Wow. Well, all in all, that was a pretty tasty breakfast buffet. If you guys are coming out here to hike the Timberline Trail and you get a chance, you should definitely check it out. Stairs right out of the gate. Well, here we are at the trailhead for both the Timberline Trail and the PCT. Incidentally, I didn't get this far in 2015. I've done oh, approximately 2,000 miles of the Pacific Crest Trail. I've done all the California section and most of Oregon, but I have not uh, got to this part of the trail. I am going to come back and finish this, this trail, but uh, right now I get to hike an entirely different section that I haven't done yet on the PCT. Onward. All right, Andrew, would you like to do the honors? This is gonna be our self-issue permits right here. I think they should be in the box. All right. Empty. Uh, does it have any instructions on it for if there is no permits in the box? Uh, all trail users, including day hikers, must obtain wilderness permit here. <coughs> this is a different permit than the permit you permit on your car. The information gathered from you helps to main, make decisions about managing the wilderness. That is one faded sign. A hundred dollar fine for non-compliance. Okay, well, I don't want to be non-compliant, but you got to leave us the tools to do the job. Yeah. Get video evidence of well, <laughs> I don't think they give us any trouble if there's not one. This is, yeah, there are no permits in the box here. So it says you permit. Somebody just wrote stuff down on a scrap piece of paper, it looks like, because there was no uh, actual permits. So this is Andrew's very first backpacking trip. He's actually spent a lot of weeks preparing for this and uh, acquiring all the gear necessary to go out on a backpacking trip. I think this is gonna be pretty good for him. This is a 40 mile loop around Mount Hood and uh, it's got 9,000 feet of elevation gain. There's a lot of up and down. Uh, and I think we have eight major river fords that we have to do, but uh, I think that during September, they're not gonna be super difficult. If we were early in the year with more snow melt, I imagine they would probably be a little bit, a little bit tougher. But so far, he's doing pretty good. We are looking forward to making a 10 mile day today. Since he's a brand new hiker, we're gonna try to do our days in 10 mile increments. So it should take us about four days to get around the mountain.
So this I think is our second or third stream crossing. So far there's been an abundance of water on trail. All nature, man. Oh. Yeah, I'm just set there. So right down below us, we have the Zigzag River and the trail winds down toward it. I do believe this is our first river crossing. made it down here to the zigzag river and this is going to be a snack spot for us so what's on the menu i've got some big noodles star crunch and a cliff bar huh for me i think it's going to be a chocolate caramel protein bar from Gatorade. He's actually really good. Mm. And I can concur. He has a dry one. When you pick one up, really good stuff. Pick it too? Yeah. Too I'm um, not. So we're on our very first climb of the trail. Everything in the first three and a half miles has been pretty easy. It's been flat or downhill. Just over the zigzag river, we started an ascent. This will be Andrew's first ever backpacking ascent. So this is our second trail junction. I didn't film the first one. We uh, stayed on the PCT uh, instead of taking the Paradise Loop alternate. This looks like maybe where it comes out. Pacific Crest Trail is still this direction. And it's also this direction to Ramona Falls. So which quad is it? So your right quad. And then you can hear your heartbeat in your head, in your ears. Yeah. Real hard, boom, boom. And you're saying that's making it so you can't hear anything else? Well, that might mean it's not safe. Alrighty then. Loving the, the hiking experience. Just that. Body's not cooperating. I think I need to do some more training before I actually go on a full legitimate hike with Epic. <laughs> so guys, sometimes things just don't go according to plan. I will definitely be coming back out here to do this trail again. It was a big one on my list. But uh, we have to be safe and uh, make sure we listen to our bodies out here. So we're gonna find a camping spot for tonight and then uh, we're probably gonna hike back out to the truck in the morning. Well, just uh, up above the water source that we were filling up at, where Andrew was resting and decided he couldn't continue, there is a campsite. He's hiking up the hill slowly but surely. We are going to give his leg a rest, call this home for the night and uh, hike back out to the truck tomorrow. Most of that is gonna be gradual downhill. Should be easier on his leg. A night's rest, some food, hydration also should help. <sighs> Them's the brakes, folks.
Now that's convenient. That is very convenient. We are fed. We have set up camp for the night. And uh, all of this smoke started rolling in over to the west where the sun is going down. It's a crazy haze and as you can see the sunset is red. We're trying to get a report right now as to uh, where the fire is and how close it is to us. All right, Mount Hood. This is only the end of round one, but I'm not giving up the fight. I'll be ready for round two. I will not admit defeat, not just yet. <laughs>